Good morning. Where's the keyboard? There's the keyboard. Oh, I turned it off, not on. Nope, I didn't. There we go. Hello, everyone. How is everyone today? Steven is still putting cookie butter on his toast. Oh, and my glasses are dirty, so I have to clean them because I can't see. That's better. A little. <laughs> Much better. See, when I first wake up, like I do for breakfast stream, I can't put my contacts in. I have to be up a little bit and then I can put them in just fine. Which is why I always have glasses on for breakfast stream. Chocolate's already over a thousand? What? Oh, I turned the keyboard off when I set it down. Oh, it is, wow. Anyway, that's better. Now I can sit. Yeah, people really wanted that hot chocolate. There's an Animal Crossing update for January. I did not see that yet. I will have to watch that after stream. Well, I'm gonna start reading some alerts. Spith listens 500 bits and said between the scenes bits because I'll be missing breakfast stream this Tuesday, January 25th was my 30th birthday and I took some days off to visit the mountain for the weekend. Have a good stream, everyone, and see you in the VOD. Happy birthday, Spithla. I hope the mountain was very beautiful. But I did see your photos, so I know it was. <laughs> Mac Mayhem resub 29 months. 29 months, one more month until 2.5 years. Now that um, I'm in my last semester of my Master's of Science in Cybernetics, I'm sure it doesn't feel like it's been 4.5 years since I began. Thankfully, you two have been a constant source of entertainment. Love from Norway. Thank you. Awesome on being on your last semester for that. Hi. I was scraping the tub. Of cookie butter? Yeah. Because I, uh, I finished it. Mm -hmm. It's done. It's done. There you go. And like, that's exciting. But there's another one. That yes. you already tried that I haven't tried yet. I like the other one better. The Oreo one? I think I... This one has like the cappuccino. Yeah. I think I like this one better, but I don't know. Anyway, mm -hmm. hi. Hi, folks. Um... A while back in mail, uh, I think it was Jay and his family sent us two different sweet spreads. I don't know if that's a term. It is now. One of them was the the cappuccino cookie butter. I don't know what the word for it. The little, the little cookies, and they grind them up and they turn them into a paste. This is the end of that. There's another one that is. Oreos. Basically. Yeah, this one's not Biscoff brand specifically, but it's the same concept. Yeah. Speculars. That's mm -hmm. it. I've never I've never heard of Speculars outside bud. of this cookie butter thing. Mm -hmm. But that's the one this is. But this is the end of it. This is the last um, piece of bread. And uh, there's a, yeah, a Oreo one. It's not Oreo specifically, but it's, it's, it's Oreo, so. Probably, may, if, if I remember, Thursday I'll have it. Hi, baby. So, things to look forward to. Mel's already tried it, mm -hmm. but I wanted to try it on breakfast stream, so. Good boy, you can step there. That's my leg, you can step on it. Come on. Oh, hi. Hi, bud. Anyway, morning. Hope y'all are doing uh, good this morning. We've got um, we've got a nice day ahead. Apparently, still, is it still going to be nice? It's already 62. 
63. Okay, yeah, yeah. 70 degrees by noon. And then stay 70 for a few hours. Then we have a cold front, though. Do you see Thursday? Listen, I'm not looking that far ahead. I'm not looking that far ahead. All I know is that I am wearing a t-shirt, and I'm going to take a walk today. It was 75 in Savannah yesterday. Well, they're further south. They're allowed yeah. to be even warmer. But yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. To be able to like take a walk outside in a in a short sleeve shirt and sandals and be like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Renee, they're allowed. I'll allow it this time, Savannah. <laughs> Toby, not to brag, but we're gonna have a high of forty. <laughs> I mean, 40 could be good if it's been, like, if, if the high has been 20, then the high of, a high of 40 is noticeable and good. But, you know, 70 is a big joke. We haven't had anything close to 70. We've had a few weeks where, like, there would be a day where something might get into, like, the low 60s. And usually not even that high, usually, like, the high 50s. So all of a sudden, it being like, yeah, we hit 70, I'm like, cool. It is January. I will take 70 degrees. For everyone talking about snow, I can't relate. I, can't, I, can't. I cannot relate. There is uh, no sign of it here. Uh, let's see. We got uh, 300 bits from uh, Kron53. Kron, thank you. Eight months from rainy days, 48. It says, happy eight months. I'm excited to get my second COVID vaccine in two weeks. Can't wait till everyone is able to get it. Nice. Nice. The the US is moving decent speed per capita. We're, uh, it's not as high as um, some of the other countries, but uh, it's it's working out to a, somewhere between one and 2% of the country every week. So that's noticeable. Number go up. Human mind happy, because number go up. <laughs> Related. <laughs> Have you tried Forager? Forager's great. 15 months from NG Ben. This is currently on leave of absence right now for a couple weeks. It's really nice not having to worry about power disruptions every time it rains or making hour-long trips during midnight to restore power. I mean, I that's something that like 99 plus percent of people have never had to think about. Um, but I'm glad that you get a break. I'm really glad that you get a break because that's... It's a lot of, it's a lot of headache, I imagine. Anyway, enjoy, uh, enjoy relaxing. Uh, we, we got three months from uh, Full Metal Grizz ninety eight. Wow, three months already, man! Time flies so fast. It does. Fourteen months from Acro World nineteen. Thank you. Eighteen from Luminous twenty seven hundred says hi, grandparents. You guys are my favorite streamers and YouTubers out there. Well, thank you. I mean, we're certainly trying. We, we're certainly putting stuff out there and we're like, oh, we hope people like it. I don't know. Are you enjoying your kitty cat? I am. Last night I fed him wet food, like his last meal for the day. Yeah. And he came in the studio and he was like still licking his lips and he was like, mow, 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 mow. he came in to thank me. Yeah, he has, you know. Oh, now he's burning. You good boy. Would it be okay if I ate my toast? It would be okay if you ate your toast. We have a milk bomb from Rapengu. Ooh. Five milk bombs go into Zazas Maman, Intelligent One, Zelda 2997, TBG Shinene, and a Dude 3. Thank you. Thank you, Pengu. Oh, all right. Moonlight Charizard resub four months. I can finally catch this live. Thank you for all the content you post. You guys have been making my day, week, year for the past geez, 11 years now. It's been a blast every minute. It's It's been a long time. I can't wait till I can say I've been doing all of this for half my life. Soon. I don't know. I guess it depends when the start date is. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I'm aiming for. ID 2433 resub nine months. Nine months. Woo! Triple plus. 
Woo! So Vandera resub two months. Good morning, everyone. Sending good vibes. Thank you. I got the mug today. Star. I, I never know what mug I'm gonna have because, like, you just grab one. Well, I just grab one, but also the mugs that are like in the front of the shelf. Yeah. And which ones are dirty? We go through a lot of mugs. The dirty ones aren't on the shelf, though. No, but I, mean, I just mean, what I'm saying is that some are dirty, and I'm not going to grab one of those. That's my point. Yes, they are by the sink. It's not about the location. I'm just saying, what if I drank out of this yesterday? Oh. You know what I mean? Then this wouldn't have been available. That's what I'm saying. I see. <laughs> You're really hyper-focused on, don't drink from the sink. And I don't drink from the sink often. I will, sh I will use the same mug all day. But once we get pat, like the next day, I switch mugs. I switch mugs because we have so many. Star Pony resub six months. Happy six months. It's snowing outside. Thanks, Jeff. I have a question because a lot of people were talking about it and also seemed upset about our seventy degrees weather. Show of hands, who actively has snow either outside or in the forecast for today? Coffee. So, like, at some point today, there will be snow in your immediate proximity. Oh, there they go. Okay, so, yeah, um... A dusting. Dusting still counts. It's snow. Snow does not exist in my country. <laughs> Joel was the right idea. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot. But also... It's January, so... Yeah. <laughs> Snow is now. Man, that is a lot of snow. I don't, um... I, I'm not envious of the folks that are dealing with snow. I am. I'm always envious, like, a little bit, because it is nice when it happens. I just don't want it to stick around. I want to be like, oh, look. And then that's it. You don't have to go out in it, though. You just find someone to shovel for you. You say, while looking at me, we don't own a shovel. No, we don't. Like, we do not own a shovel. Correct. If we needed to shovel anything, it would it would be hard as we do not own a single shovel. We've never needed a shovel. I can't think of a time where there was a time like when we needed to shovel anything. Anyway, 20, uh, 28 months from uh, Team Valance Storm says 28. Woo! Scar Flash resub 28 months. Crunch time. Well, my Grizz 98 gifted to sub to Aspiring Rider 95. Direct 900 resubbed at tier 2 for 29 months. Gold toast. Uh, two months from Nomi Bookworm 1984. Ambie Walsh sent 300 bits. You asked about YouTube recommended videos in the house. We have less Let's Plays, Sewing Tutorials, Disney Travel Vlogs, Funny Pet Videos, and Religious Anthem Sing Song Throughs. Hmm. Ours are, um... Can you just nip my hand? I mean, like I said recently. How it's made. At least 50% are how it's made. Yeah. The only thing I don't like about the algorithm and how YouTube works is that you might see something and you're, you're, you're not necessarily interested in the channel. You're not necessarily interested in what that person makes all the time. But there's like this one video comes out and you're like, oh, neat. Coffee. And you know that after you watch it, it's going to be in your recommended for weeks. On your phone and desktop, you can turn that off. You can be like, don't recommend this channel anymore. Okay, but I watch all of my YouTube on... The TV, yes. On the TV. Where those things are not... really available, so... <laughs> Mech says, I don't like that after your mattress review vlog, I got recommendations for like seven other purple mattress videos. That's another thing that can happen. You're just watching, like, my normal content, but we go out of our way to talk about something 
different, and then all of a sudden, YouTube really latches on to a specific thing. Did you get recommendations for busy scissors? <laughs> See, today's uh, Extra Life video is Wheel of Fortune. So, after you watch the Wheel of Fortune Extra Life video, it'll probably be like clips of Wheel of Fortune, which actually is not that bad. I wouldn't mind Wheel of Fortune clips in my recommended. I'd be like, yeah, I'll watch some of these. That's fine. Hello, baby. <laughs> you ding dong. <laughs> it's good. It's a good one. Uh, 26 months from Incarnada95. He says, uh, yeah, 26 months. Hope you two are doing well today. Gonna try to stay up for the whole stream, but I've been up since 5, so I'm tired. Coffee. I mean, you know, sleep when you need to. Sleep's important. I actually, uh... I was, I was up yesterday, and then all of a sudden I got super tired, and I ended up taking a nap. And I felt better. I don't know why my body's been a little... I th well, actually, I do kind of know. I think it's him. I think I you think I'm. You were also up for sumo. Oh yeah, that's. Yeah, I, I was not. I mean that that might be part of it. I think otherwise I'm getting plenty of sleep. Yeah. But he tends to cause some some a, a, a little bit of stir in my sleep. He was on me this morning. Mm. After he ate. He was on me all night. You know, during the part where I'm sleeping. The other night he was on me. Oh, he's so good. I wish he would stay over there on you so I could get some, some nights where, you know, I'm free to flip and turn and move. Anyway. <laughs> Matt at Satsy. Did you stay up for sumo explicitly after you said you wouldn't stay up for sumo? Yes and no. Yes and no. Um... After the first week, because Sumo falls on three Saturdays. After that first Saturday, I was like, okay, I really feel bad. I should not do this again. So the next Saturday, I did not stay up anywhere near as late. However, I did want to see the finale. So, like, on see, the second... I love the finale because there's the macro. On and the... I had to go to bed. On the second week, I did actually go to bed. But on that final week, I... I really wanted to see the end, so I did. I did stay up the final week. That being said, it's Im it's important because otherwise I can't do the vlog about sumo that day. Chess said he really wanted to see if he was going to beat Alex. I mean, that's that was actually it. That was actually it. Listen, I wasn't going to win. I knew. Days before, I was like, oh, I'm not going to win this. Brandon's going to win this. I was really rooting for Dan. Nothing against Brandon. But I really wanted Dan to win, like, his Dan's first time first ever. first time. Mm -hmm. So, it didn't work out. But that's... It's, it's fine. At least I beat Alex. Take that, Alex, who didn't even choose his own team. <laughs> I still lost. I'm sorry. Listen, sometimes you I just... had the only injury that dropped out and had to get a new person on my team. Sometimes that happens. Yeah. Anyway, Fancy Sumo is great. Sumo is great. So I, I really, I, I'll continue to push um, that Sumo is a, is a, I think it's a good sport no matter, like, who you are. Like, if you're a sports person, I think that you'd still enjoy it. But even as, as someone that's not a sports person... It's really great that matches are short. They're really, it's like, the problem with baseball is that baseball is really long. And like when there's stuff happening, it's like, ooh, wow, baseball. But then there's a lot of just standing. I like sumo because a match is like 15 seconds. <laughs> It's like here it here it comes. And there's a lot of build up so you can like stop paying attention for a few minutes. There's a lot there's a lot of build up. There's no do-overs. Most of the time. Hello, are you flipping? There's, it's not best two out of three, it's just here we go. And that's 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 what I like. So recommended. Check it out if you if you get a chance. 
We had 29 months from Cobalt Custer. 29 months, that's one more than 28. Anyway, since I can never come up with a decent sub message, I'd like to push, uh, use this opportunity to push for hot chocolate. I mean, that push has been over a work. thousand. Yeah, that's wild to me. Like, it's actually kind of reasonable that, I mean, if we leave hot chocolate up, that by the end of, by mid to the end of February, it okay. might actually be kind of in the same zone as the others. And I don't understand how. Anyway, glad people have been enjoying uh, hot chocolate. Oh, here comes the push. Oh boy, collective push. <laughs> Number go up. And and the whole time, like tea and tea and uh, tea and coffee have always been just in the same zone. Like they're always really close together, and with tea usually like just kind of barely ahead. Coffee. But hot chocolates, it's it's moving. You see this? It's a very content boy. My pal. What a good cat. Uh, we got a sub from uh, Bun Boy Twitch. Welcome. Eight months from uh, Arpiga, who says, "Almost time for that sub puppy. I wonder how my other pups will react. <laughs> It'll be a surprise." Five months from the super thingy-mabob. Five months, that's like one more than four months. Correct. Can't argue with that. Also five months from Kbri29. So glad I started watching. You uh, have both been bright lights for me during this strange time. Thank you. I'm looking forward to even more fun and shenanigans. Us too. Us too. Kepler shenanigans. Kepler shenanigans. It was about a year ago. I think it, 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 was, it was January last year where we were doing breakfast stream one morning and out of nowhere both cats ran upstairs full speed went around the the table ran into the tripod so hard that the camera actually shifted what it was looking at the the camera almost fell over which would have been um real bad in retrospect that would have been not good yeah, that one's, um, that was good. Shout out for everyone who remembers that, especially if you were actually there live for that. That was, that was about a year ago, if that kind of puts you, um, gives, gives you an idea of, like, where in time and how quick, how quickly time is moving. I was looking at my Techo when I was writing a day or two ago. Mm -hmm. And it was when we first went to the Subaru and Toyota dealer to test drive. Mm -hmm. Not when we went back, but when we first went. Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah. Yeah, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of things coming up. Anyway, 22 months from Wildfire says, Good morning, all. I just got the first vaccine a few days ago. I'm so ready for this to be over. Nice. It's really great as people who are going to be a while yet to hear like actual people saying that they're getting it it's 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 and happening. seeing people it's we know start to get it yeah seven months from aeronautical gg seven months come and gone the back half of 2020 really blazed by hoping to make the most of 2021 with better goal setting yeah i think um you know obviously the with the turn of the new year everyone's always using that opportunity to set a goal set some sort of achieve like uh, objective for them themselves i think that's um i think this year especially actually it's it's an even bigger deal because there's been so many things that you can't do so now you're really looking forward to being able to do things so you are setting yourself goals like i am going to we're gonna take some sort of a trip yeah when we're able it doesn't have to be for long and it doesn't have to be for far but like i want to i want to drive the car somewhere Somewhere other than the grocery store. I don't know where that is yet. But somewhere. <laughs> it really comes down to that. Renee says, be not in the house. That's basically it. That's basically it. And like, I love the house. The house is where I work. The house is where I eat. The house is where Kepler is. But I'm ready to like, you know, 
Armor Fox says, buy its new car, suddenly pandemic. Oh god. We can never buy another vehicle. We made the escape last... 16 years? We, yeah, we made the escape last 16 years. We have to have this car for 16 years. <laughs> for forever. Forever. 21 months from Wisenrail says, It took me, I don't know how long to find Cookie Butter, but I did! Has a bit of a cinnamon toast feel to it. That's cool. The, we actually just used... The Biscoff um, one I really like. Because I love the Biscoff cookies. That's not that. I know, but isn't it, like, really close? <sighs> Maybe. Um, I think it was Anne who, who was here this morning. Anne had sent in the, um, the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Dust. They don't call it dust. Dust is not a, a food word. It's not an appetizing word. It's a, like a powder. Yes. Powdered Cinnamon Toast Crunch. But we made pancakes the other day, and I put it... In I the batter. It, I put it in the batter. And that was good. It, it was, was very good. There were, uh... I mean, it's, they're cinnamon pancakes, I guess, then. But they're not... I don't know. Cinna the Cinnamon Toast Crunch Powder is, like... It's slightly different than just cinnamon. Yeah. You know? Like, and it's sugar. not... It, yeah, it's not exactly the same thing. It has its own somewhat unique taste. <laughs> That's CTC. Yeah, dust goes in the wind. Powder is for batter, dust is for wind. They understand. Season. Seasoning. I think seasoning should only be reserved for non-sweet things. Does that make sense? Is it flavoring if it's sweet things? Maybe. The word seasoning to me, like, that brings about images of, like, spice. Like, or savory. Yeah, 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 savory. So, like, I don't think seasoning is technically wrong. I think that you could say that, but my first thought whenever I hear that is like, well, that's not sweet. Yeah. I'm glad that this is our discussion. <laughs> Stuff to take to take with you as you go through your day. It'll be like five in the afternoon and you'll, you'll still be thinking about this. You'll be like, hmm. <laughs> our sprinkle seasoning for ice cream. See, like, that's not technically wrong. It's not technically wrong. It just sounds bizarre. <laughs> Where was I? <laughs> 301 bits from Hograth, uh, who sends in the 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 Hograth High. Is, I think it's the I think it's the world's smallest emote <laughs> for the world's smallest star reign. Thank you, Hograth. 300 bits from uh, Peach Keen says, "Hi y'all. I did not advance in that interview. This is." It is, this isn't to ruin the good vibes uh, stats, but to share in solidarity with others who are trying. It's tough. Gonna keep drinking some coffee and uh, keep going. Well, I'm glad that you um, reported back. Yeah. I mean, one, so folks know how you did, but then also, I think that solidarity is important because statistically, it's impossible for everything to go well all the time. It's just, it, it can't happen. And I think it's nice to hear from someone else that's like, hey, didn't work out this time, but that's also not the end of the world. There will be other opportunities, so. Good vibes to you, and uh, I hope that the next opportunity comes knocking very, very soon. And of course, that it goes even, even better than before. Oh, which one is this? Is this Dan? It's Dan. It's Dan! 3,000 bits from Gamer Girl says, morning, Steven Amal. I installed my new TV I got for Christmas. Now I can watch on a 43 inch. Also, did you know that there's a Pokemon cereal that just came out? I did not know there was a Pokemon cereal. First off, congrats on the TV because, um, big TV, good. It's, uh, bigger. You can see more stuff. You can, <laughs> people should buy more, uh, bigger TVs because then they can see, um, you know, all of my gray hairs. You got them. I got plenty. Can't see them so much on Breakfast Stream. Breakfast Stream is no. broadcast in 1080. But all the vlogs are in 4K, so you can see all my gray hairs. I didn't hear about the Pokemon cereal, but I did just hear about another cereal that is brand new. I haven't tried it, but I'm very interested. Um, it's Little Debbie Oatmeal Cream Pie Cereal. 
So oh, no. I know little little Debbie oatmeal cream pies are like one of my favorite things in the world. Yes. They just made um, cereal. Cereal. So they they're like little. I mean, it's cereal, so it's gonna be crunchy. It's so not like just tiny little. It's not like they just put oatmeal cream pies into a bowl. You could do that though. You couldn't. <laughs> you couldn't. You couldn't really do that. Um, yeah, I saw uh, I saw a friend of mine had um, bought some and had a, had a photo of them, and I was like, "Oh, what is that?" And I read the description. And I was like, "Oh, that's a thing now." So yeah. Clean it good, buddy. Makes that weird sound. Yeah, I've always loved oatmeal cream pies. Um, <laughs> Renee, I was good. I was last year I didn't eat that much cereal actually. There was a few times when we went to Costco I would buy cereal. Um, we got like because it Costco it comes in like a giant box. I think it's designed to feed like a family of five. Or just a Stephen of one. It doesn't. They're about the same. Um, but they would come with either like two or three bags in like a giant box. I'm sure they're not going to have that there. They're not, no, they're not. Costco's not going to stock no. industrial sized Little Debbie oatmeal cream pie cereal. So yeah, cereal cereal is crunchy. Show it's fine. This woo, this looks awful. I need to see it. Is you can uh, you can show that on screen. I assume it's a picture of the front of the box or a bowl or something. You can show that if you'd like, so other other folks can just see it. I haven't actually seen the um the uh, the box. There you go. That's not a very big bowl. That's like a teacup. Cause like the top of I mean, that looks like the same size as an actual oatmeal cream pie. I haven't seen the box yet, and it's. I mean, it's about what I expected. <laughs> Where did they put the? I think the cream is imbued into the the whole thing. It's like just a part of it. I don't think it's. I don't think it's filled. No. I'm pretty I don't sure. Think I, I think it's just a crunchy much. cereal. That being said, will I try it? I mean, maybe. Next time, it'll be a while before we get back to the grocery yeah. store. But at some point, I, I might give it a shot. Mr. Squidtopus, Squidtopus, resubbed 11 months. 11 months of subs, that's a lot of sandwiches. I mean, I, I think, how, what, what is it like every, every X sub, the next one's, the next one's a celebration, the next one's free. At the, at the sandwich shop. Subway? Subway doesn't do that. They used to. Mom and Pop ones do. Subway does? They used to do, they had a punch card, and you used to, and a long time ago, you used to get little stickers, or like, you would lick them and stick them to the little business card. There's, like, I think Quiznos or Jimmy John's used to do that. I don't remember Subway doing that. Subway did it. Anyway, with every... <laughs> With every with every twelfth sub on the channel, um, you get a number. <laughs> That's almost the same thing. Anyway, I will let you keep reading. Macintosh PC sent five hundred bits. Good morning, grandparents. I moved into my college dorm on Sunday. My school did remote all remote last semester. Not sure how I feel about it yet, but the Wi-Fi is good enough to watch y'all, so I'll survive. That's good. I find most schools have. Like, really good internet. I but mean, it didn't in 2006. But my, near the end of my schooling, it did. My school's internet was really good. Mine was bad freshman year. It got upgraded sophomore year and was much better. And then I switched schools. In junior year, it was real bad. And I remember emailing someone in the university, and I was like, we're a polytechnic university, and you give each of your students a laptop for the semester. Why is our internet so bad? And then it got fixed. Interesting. Yeah, my, um, my, co my college had real good internet. Like, 
<laughs> For just so Scads Internet is still trash, don't worry. My Scads was really good when I was there. It was, I mean, it, at the time, it was the fastest internet that I'd ever seen. <laughs> Line Rider says, Mal is a force for positive change. That's not the only angry email that I emailed and got something fixed. We had steam heating at Stout. That, yeah, that one's bad. And if people who have never lived in an older house with, like, a radiator, like, if there's air in the system, it bangs around and hits, and it's very loud. It sounds like there's, like a rat in the pipes or something. It's very bad. And it can get as loud as, I don't know. I've never been very close to a gunshot, but it's very loud and startling. All of a sudden it's like, bam. And um, the dorm I was in when I lived with Haley, they hadn't bled the air out of the system. They're like, we're demolishing this building next year. So we're not gonna do any maintenance at all. And I emailed the head of housing and I was like, listen, finals are next week and I can't sleep because it's so loud. And they were like, you're right, and they fixed it. Because all they have to do is bleed the air out of the system a little bit. It's not even that hard. I remember you were, um... I was, like, at my wit's end. I was mentally in a bad state. I hadn't slept. I was... Mal was underselling it I by, was, like, by crying about every time it would happen. Like, I was on Skype with Mal, and she was a, a bundle of nerves in tears... But they finally did it. Yeah. So that's good. Anyway. <laughs> we got nine months from Olad. Just yeah. nine months. That's an entire Twitch baby. Oh, how time continues to do the time thing. It does. Hold on. Nat Scorpinda, 18, sent 300 bits. Hello all, dropping in to let you know you're all. Stephen, Mel, Kepi, and chat. Amazing. A bit of info I learned is that Breath of the Wild Link weighs seven apples and two spicy peppers. That's roughly 1.6 pounds. I gotta go because I'm using data. Love you all. I mean, that adds up because as we've learned, Link is four inches tall. Yeah. So I believe that, actually. Mm -hmm. I believe that. Also, I'm guessing that there's a spot in the game where... There's a weighted puzzle? Yeah, and you can use that to figure out exactly how much he weighs. That's like slightly upsetting. Hi, sweetie. That <laughs> you can find out that he weighs one pound. But at the same time, like, what are they gonna do? How are you gonna finish that puzzle otherwise? I guess you, you could put like a shield down. But you don't know what a shield would weigh. More than an apple? That's true. I'd hope. Also, that means that Link is carrying, at any given time, like a thousand times his body weight. He's an ant. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Oh. You finally finished your toast? Mm-hmm. Good job. Double D resubbed two months. And said, good vibes. Thank you. Good vibes. Link, Ant, Lant. <laughs> Sorry, there's a lot of chewing. Skit Scott sent 100 bits. Thank you. Ella Bunny resubbed four months and said, crunch. You okay? okay? I did it. Good job. Thank you. Hold on. Star Bloom <laughs> Faye resubbed five months. Good morning, grandparents. I'm honestly surprised that I've been catching breakfast streams lately. I'm normally not a morning person, but my sleep schedule lately has been weird. So here I am. Also, please give Kepi some pets from me. I'm petting Kepi. He's, it's bath time, but he's still getting pets. You're ruining bath time. Am I? I mean, he doesn't, you know. No, he don't care. I just say, just keep doing it. It's fine. You're not. You're not. You're not making him dirty. There any bits from uh, Item Crafting Live? Who says so? Thanks uh, to shenanigans at work, I get paid double time today to do a weird shift. So, what home appliance would you say is the best use of my unexpected two hundred dollars? Small uh, appliance or like full size? I mean, like it, I guess it depends on you, right? Mm -hmm. Um. So the thing that I, depending on what you're, and like other the chat's going to have opinions too. Um, 
A toaster oven is probably my favorite sub $200 appliance. Yeah. Because a toaster, I mean, it depends on a lot of factors, right? But if, if, if you live either alone or with just like one other person, a toaster oven is fantastic because you can cook an entire dinner for two people and like do it in a tiny little box. It preheats way, way faster than an oven will. Um, it's easier to clean because it's tiny. So I'm in toaster oven camp, but also like- An Instapot is good if you're interested in that. An Instapot, I mean, if you like rice, you can buy a really nice rice cooker for two, like spending $200 on a rice cooker is what some people would be like, that's crazy, you can just make rice on the stovetop. And then there's other people that are like, no, you should buy a rice cooker. If um, you eat a lot of rice, a rice cooker is amazing. I've yeah. loved ours so Zoji much. Rushi, baby! And he has got the right idea. Um, it's it's easy to spend $200 or more on a rice cooker. But, I love ours, yeah. but if I was like having used it for this long, I would have probably gotten the larger version of what we have. Coffee! So we could do more in it, but. I mean, but it's fine for us. The oh, only yeah. times we ever need more rice is like if we're, if we have people over. And it'll still, it'll still feed four. Yeah. That's all that matters. We're not doing a lot of rice parties. So it's fine. So yeah, it really depends on, on you specifically. But like, if, if you could, if you make a lot of rice or you could see yourself consuming a lot of rice, then a rice cooker might be the best option. If you don't have a nice, uh, if you don't have a, either a coffee maker or a nice coffee maker and you like coffee, like you could spend, you could get coffee. So it really depends or, uh, on your... an electric uh, kettle. <laughs> Emil has a really nice electric kettle where he basically just like hits a button and it's hot water all the time. Yeah. Really looking forward to having a rice, but man, COVID's, <laughs> COVID's got me to the point where I, it doesn't matter. You just invite everyone over for white rice. Everybody gets a cup of jasmine. That's the whole thing. Play board games and eat white rice. I'd be fine, actually. I'd be fine. With that. Anyway, I got some ideas. There's the, the I think the, the, the point is, um, there's some good, there's some good appliances that you could get. Mm -hmm. There really are. Like $200 is a, is a, a fair amount of money for like certain things. So. You could buy some, uh, some fairly nice stuff with that. Multiple people from out of the U.S. being like, wait, you guys don't have electric kettles? Sometimes people do. If you, That is not a standard thing. No. Not by a long shot. Um, if someone has an electric kettle... We have the ones that sit on the little base and it looks like the carafe. If, if someone has an electric kettle, they are an electric kettle person. It's not like a standard household thing, like, oh, everyone's got an electric kettle. If someone has an electric kettle, you're like, oh. Yeah. If someone has a stovetop kettle and uses it and not just dec uses it for decoration, it's like, oh. Yeah, kettles, kettles are decorations in the U.S. Like, if I see one, it looks like it's never been used because it hasn't. It's, <laughs> it's, it has never been used. So... Some people, um, I mean, some, some people have them, but yeah, the U.S., like, it's a different place. If I want to make tea, I, I will put water into a mug and put the mug in the microwave. Or we'll run the Keurig without a K-cup Or I'll run the it. Keurig without the K-cup. Like, it's, it's easy. There's a lot of, there's a lot of... <laughs> You're a monster, Steven. <laughs> a lot of ways to... There's a lot of ways to make water very hot. Um, seems people are, are... Yeah, people get very upset. Um, about, listen, all, all you're trying to do... You're trying to make, you're trying to make water hot. That's it. You make the water hot and then you put the tea in. I got that figured out. 
I can do that. Except that day that I set the microwave on fire, but I was tired. Five months from Gabri29. I think I already read that. It might have come up again. 30 bits from Bumboy Twitch who says, I must head off for class, but I'm glad to have finally subbed to my favorite grandparents. Thank you, Bumboy. Hope your class goes well. Uh, 24 months from Opi SSBM. Two years, that's a lot of crunch. Congrats on your two. And yeah, there's been a, there's been a lot of crunch. Speaking of crunch, almost done with the rye. Oh yeah, the rye bread. I didn't know where you were going with this. I didn't, well, I didn't take a long time to get there. I, I know. <laughs> I just went this, and you're like, what were you gonna say? There any bits from Ryan BO6. I play fantasy baseball and it is a grind. 26 weeks of paying close attention to games you don't really care about if your team isn't involved. Uh, wears on a person. Yeah, that's a lot. Cause like, 26 weeks is an incredibly long amount of time. Fantasy, fantasy sumo. So sumo, sumo is 15 days long. Every night. For 15 days. It, every night for 15 days is sumo. And then it happens again two months later. So six times a year. 15 days at the time. Um, and that's a lot more But you only have to pay manageable. attention to however many like wrestlers are on your team. Yeah. Like, we had four this last Basho. So I only had four people I had to pay attention to. But if you have a baseball team, I yep. mean, you have to see, like, how many strikes the pitcher gets and, like, all this information for each of your team members. I'm assuming that there's, like... I mean, baseball is big. So, like, there's probably apps and websites and stuff oh, yeah. that you can create your team and then it tracks all the information for you. But it's still a lot. Um... Brandon says you can you can watch the whole top division in 25 minutes. Also, yep. correct. You can literally see you know the entire thing in 25 minutes. You can see every top level person in sumo play in 25 minutes, and then that's it. So 25 minutes a day for 15 days. Yeah. Fantasy football is about 16 weeks. Yeah, these are all. Um, but I mean, it's it's all about like what you like, right? So if like if you really like baseball, if you really like football, then you'll be inspired to want to to pay attention to do all of that stuff. We got ten months from Lord Matapon. Who says breakfast time is the best time time of the week? Y'all always put a smile on my face. Thank you. I appreciate that. Five hundred bits from um, Courtney D. Smith. Who says, I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes in December, so I can't have hot chocolate anymore. Which kind of sucks, because my morning beverage of choice was a mocha. You can get sugar-free hot chocolate, but it's not the same. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, that's, um... I haven't done a mocha in a while. But that would be something every once in a while. Every once in a while I would do. There's, um... I, I mean, I know that we have uh, some folks here with diabetes, too. Uh, I mean, as you are going, like, through your... And my dad has diabetes. Like, as you're going through your journey, you'll probably learn more and more about, like, different options, I guess. Maditzetsi said that cocoa powder works. You All of the, the chocolate and none of the sugar. Yeah. So, there will be, you know... I'm not going to claim that things are going to be easy. Um, and I, I personally don't have diabetes. Or a perfect substitute. Yeah, or a perfect substitute. Um, I just know that. <laughs> I know, Sassy. <laughs> like I, I remember, like I remember my my dad being diagnosed with diabetes when I was in high school, I guess, and seeing him like learn to to cope with with some of that stuff too. So it's it's possible. It's possible. We are getting a lot of songs today with lyrics. Yeah. Some of them have like f a lot, of, like a lot of lyrics, but a lot of them are just like one line repeated. But nothing I've I've removed from the list. We snuggle basically. We've we got 23 months from Zoraka. He says 23 months from Zoraka, who simply says hi. <laughs> I read that verbatim. Thanks, Zoraka. 26 months from Mr. Viperfang. Appreciate it. Uh, 12 months. From Anise, who says, uh, thanks Mr. Gameboy18 for my gift sub. Uh, it's great to share these streams with the grandparents and toast cousins. I'm glad folks 
enjoy hanging out. I think it's nice to have something to look forward to um, twice a week. Uh, we got nine months from uh, Phoenix Zuzo. He says, hey, Stephen Amell, my whole family has all tested positive for the coronavirus. Been stuck at home resting, but my mom got admitted to the hospital because she's much older and has a lot of underlying illnesses. Sending good vibes your way and then certainly uh, your mother's way. I um, hope everything turns out good there. Uh, I mean, that's, I guess, the, that's the big thing with the virus is that, like, if it can find its way into your home, then it's, it's obviously bad because the spread can get to, you know, basically everyone. Uh, I hope everyone feels as good as possible as quickly as possible. That's my hope for, for you and then certainly anyone that has uh, contracted it. It's been a long, almost year. Yeah. Was it middle of March? I mean, I think that's when it was officially, yeah. like... Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. It, obviously before that, but I think middle of March was official pandemic declaration here. It's been such a long friggin' time. It's been... <laughs> like, I, I, a lot of times we talk about how quickly time is passing, and like, yeah, to an extent that's true, but also, good God... There's a lot of times where I just want to want to go outside and like shout at the heavens and just do this because I'm 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 frustrated. I I I don't want this for anyone. I don't want anyone to have to deal with this. I'm I'm ready for things to return to normal and for there to not be you know the 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 risk of spread for all of this. Uh, 300 bits from Hograth, who says, uh, "Oh, it's." It's, it's a star rain. It says, La He. It took me a minute. I was trying to figure out what I was looking at. 11 months from Cure Jupiter. Thank you. 300 bits from Danny. He says, Morning, everyone. Last week, my Heart of the Wild mug came in, and I love it. I've been a coffee person, but I want to start drinking tea now as well. Do you have any recommendations? Yeah, um, put some water in the mug and then put it in the microwave. I'm a bad person. I'm sorry to all of the... All of the Brits here. There's um, so many different options for tea. Because, like, you could go with a green tea or, like, a black tea or an herbal tea. I think and there's, the, like, also white and a bunch of other kinds. I think the big question, and I think most tea drinkers would agree, is that, like, you have to start by figuring out the specific type of tea. Yeah. You know? Like, I'll drink anything, um, but I really like black tea really like black tea. You so. like a good, like, English or Irish breakfast. I do. I really do. Um, so I'd start by figuring that out. I would try... Because there's some people that, like... There's, there's people that really like tea, and they just don't really care for black tea. Like, they're like, nope, I love green tea. Drink. Me. Like, Mao. I'll drink cold black tea, like, in sweet or unsweet tea, but... Mm -hmm. So that's, I think that's the, that's the thing that you have to kind of start with. You need to figure out if you like green, if you like black. Um, oh, I love a good chai. And then from there, you can decide how you like tea. Like, do you like tea with milk? Or sugar or honey. Or sugar or honey or, you know. So there's a lot of different ways to, um, to, to drink it. What I would do is I would buy... I would buy a sampler. Yeah. That's what I think that's my recommendation is I'd find a sampler online um, or at your grocery store. I mean, you just go to the grocery store and they sell like samplers and stuff. That's what or I would do. Or somewhere like David's Tea or some online shop. Yeah. I would, that, that would be my recommendation. Um, I tend to drink um, all of my stuff just plain. Black, I guess, it's just, they could, did they call it black like they do for coffee? I don't know. No idea. I don't. I don't tend to put anything in it. But um, sometimes, if I have a sore throat, I'll put honey in my black tea. But otherwise, I don't really do anything else. Milkless. Milk. Milkless tea. See, I like a good herbal tea, especially something fruity, mm -hmm. like a strawberry, especially lemon. I love lemon tea. Um, or I'll have like a essentia green tea. Yeah, I, 
I really can't stress it enough that like I, I really do like everything because uh, folks mail different types of teas and coffees too mm -hmm. um, all the time, and I'll drink any of them. There's I don't think I've ever had something I'm like, oh, I don't like this. Yeah. Um, I like everything, but if I have to choose, black tea, just a really strong, like English breakfast black tea is is my favorite. Here are bits from Throw Down. Good morning. One year, my friends and I took a trip for spring break. Uh, we went to a witch witch, and they had the Get X Stamps Get a Free Sub card. My friends and I all used the same card and ended up getting the random stranger behind <laughs> us a free sub. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Especially, like, if you're on a trip and you're not going to be there again anyway. That's neat. Now it's on an app. Now it's awful. <laughs> that's what you were looking for. You used to just have a card they could swipe. Like, that was what yeah. they did. And then they went to an app, and I was like, I already don't have room on my phone. Well, it also used to be something easy to understand. Yeah. Because it was like, hey, buy X sandwiches, get X free. Mm -hmm. Get one free. And now it's like, depending on what you buy, they have specific point values. And then you turn in your point values for a thing, and I'm like, I'm out. Uh, yeah. That's too much. It's... So you bought a cookie, a cookie's worth 20 points, and then you've bought, and like, it was doing it in such a way, it's like, um, it's like uh, the Xbox Live points, where like, it exists in order to, like, confuse you a little bit. Yeah. It's the same concept. So, you weren't actually, it was no longer, you know, buy six sandwiches, get a seventh free. It probably turned into like, buy ten sandwiches, get one free, but the point value was confusing. Still a good place to eat, though. Still like Witch Witch. Haven't been there in a while. Six months from Caitlin Rose Babita says, Six months, woo! Double plus. Three bits from Shy. Morning, everyone, and a special shout out to everyone who woke up to clear their driveways this morning. Had about four to five inches this morning. God bless the snowblower. See, that's a thing that exists. Uh, yeah. How does it work? How does a snowblower work when the snow is, like, heavy? Does it still work? I mean, they're a foot and a half tall. You rarely get more than that snow at once. Okay. So you have to forgive but otherwise me. You I, can kind I don't of, know anything they're about... They're on two wheels, the handheld ones, and you can kind of push on the back and get the top of it up so it can get the top part first, and then you just kind of do, like, two passes. Okay. Unless you have, like, a huge driveway, like my dad and Rhonda. Yeah. Like, he has a big plow he just hooks up to the front of the truck, and he pushes most of the driveway off. Yeah. And then he has a hand one for, like, smaller areas. Well. And his hand one has one of those, like, little, like, cabs that, you, like, you can stand in. Like, you know how people have the golf cart covers? So it's, like, makes it indoors. Yeah. Kind of like that, but for a snowblower. You need a little heat. Because <laughs> if you're, if you're, you know, if you're trying to move snow, you're probably cold. Yeah. I just came up with that myself. I just figured that out. <laughs> I'm a smart cookie. 12 months. From Toon Linky. He says, finally at 12 months. So do I get the number now? You get the number now. Brandon that says, works. oh, you guys live in a golf cart subdivision too? Not really. Some people have them. But like, there's no reason to for our neighborhood. Our neighborhood, no. But there's people who do. They just drive around the neighborhood. I mean, for so for no reason. Well, so for where we live in 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 Myrtle Beach and in, in North Myrtle Beach, separate city. I was gonna clarify that. Um, I think it, it because of the area, mm -hmm. this being a big like retirement place, and also like arguably the golf capital of the world. There's a lot of people that like you just get to a certain age, you just buy a golf cart. It's like I don't know exactly how it, work, how it works, but I think like you know, at, you you turn like sixty eight and like one just shows up. Yeah. Like you walk outside when you're when you on your sixty eighth birthday and there's just a golf cart there and you're like, oh, I guess this is what I do now. Um, so yeah, there's uh, there's a lot of. I mean, in certain parts of our area, like people will get one and they'll take it to the grocery store because they live close enough to take a golf cart there. Yeah. Like. When we go to Publix, I'd say there's at least, like, four golf carts in the parking lot at a time. <laughs> the AARP sends it over. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And golf carts in the parking lot make it real hard to park because you can never tell if they're there until you get like right up there. <laughs> Carlos says you get a Hogwarts letter that compels you. Do, 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 do. It's a golf cart. But the golf carts in our neighborhood, they can't take them out of the neighborhood. There's nowhere to go. Except around the neighborhood. I mean, you're right. There's places in Myrtle Beach where it makes sense sense to own a golf cart yeah like you could literally live your life with the golf cart you don't have to like have a car have a car but we're in our neighborhood that's not true and if you have a golf cart it's literally for cruising and there ain't very many places to cruise if you leave the neighborhood you would be on the highway <laughs> the state and, road, yeah. and you would die very quickly um, now, does that stop tourists from taking golf carts onto the road? No, I see it, and it's not good, and the police will stop them. Uh, which they should, because, oh my god. They're not supposed to drive you, on 17. You'll die. Don't, don't do this, whether you do it. Anyway. Let's see. Uh, we got five months from, uh, Dougie Jones from Twin Peaks. She says, good morning, grandparents. Have you watched any good movies lately? Last night I watched Polytechnic, uh, a very sad movie about the tragedy in Canada. Uh, so on Sunday, we watched um, In This Corner of the World. That vlog will be out at 3. It's scheduled for 3, so you guys will be able to see uh, that. It's um, it's good. It's heavy. It's, a, it's an animated uh, Japanese film from 2016. Mm-hmm. It's, um, it's about, it's like a, it's kind of like a, I, I'm going to call it a slice of life. It's a slice of life film about a Japanese family in the 1940s, which if you know anything about history will, you know, it's a heavy film because it deals about, it, it deals with the 1940s Japan. Um, but it, I, I think what's interesting is that the focus is always... The focus is always the family, and I think that's what makes it feel so real, is that, like, there's World War II films, and this isn't a World War II film. It's very much about the daily life of this family. Trying to stretch rations and... Yeah, like, yeah. it's... It was good. It was really good. Um, because the the... the there's all of this other stuff happening, obviously, but the focus stays very much on how the family is dealing with all of this. Um, so I, I would I would recommend it with, uh, you know, obviously it's heavy. It's also extremely long. Like yeah. it's almost three hours long. And it felt a little long when we were watching it, but never, um, never super long. It didn't. It didn't feel like it over. It overstayed its welcome. It just felt like it meandered a lot. Um, in this corner of the world, it's the name of the film. Uh, it's on Netflix. If you have Netflix, uh, you could watch it. Um, my only issue with it, and it, and it, and I bring it up because it was a huge issue to me. Like I, I did not like it. Was the pacing? The pacing is bizarre. I've never. I don't think I've ever seen a piece of media like it it's it's very hard to explain although i think if you see the film you would understand what i'm talking about um it's quick version because the vlog's coming out and it'll explain exactly how i feel about it in the detail but um the the film is presented through a series of dates so like It'll come up on screen and say the date, and then there's, you know, that scene, and then it just keeps doing that throughout the entire film. And um, in the first third of the film, because it starts, you know, pre-World War II, and it's basically trying to, like, build up to that, it's moving really quick, and the pacing is bizarre. Like, there's no... There's no breathing room. There's no time for events to really like settle in. It's very disjointed. And in it and Mal liked that. I did. I did not. Like I 
it it was bothering me to the point where I was I was starting to get really upset. It leveled out by the time it got to the 40s because we stopped changing dates so much. But even from like scene to scene, there's um, and I was thinking about it more. There's there's very there's very little like establishing shots. Yes. If ever, it's just you're moving from like one thing to the next so quickly. And I love that. But the movie was good, so still recommend it if you like um, animated Japanese films. Um, it's a really good. There were some establishing shots. Like, before they ever say it's Hiroshima, there's, like, the building. They show the building. <laughs> I know, but you're... If you want to get nitpicky, I'm not get, I'm not going to get nit, nit, nitpicky with you. I know what I saw. I watched a three-hour <laughs> film on Sunday, and I know how I felt, and I know what I saw. Still, it's good. It's good, but, like... I would have... I would have... I would have changed it. <laughs> uh, Ten months from Prince, who says, going ahead uh, to work soon, but we'll uh, get to be in here for a bit. Been a bit since I've stopped in. Sleep tends to keep me away from breakfast dreams. Well, sleep's also important. So, sleep when you can. We'll be here. Did I say, did I say Nick Pity? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Three bits from uh, Anne, who says, there's actually good science behind having a kettle either electric or stovetop to make black tea. You get better flavor and fewer harmful chemicals if you use truly boiling water instead of just hot. I mean, my counterpoint, my water boils. Like whenever I put the the water into the microwave, like it boils, like when it comes out, it's, it's popping. I mean, it's probably popping less than on a stovetop because that you just have to be careful with the microwave because of the surface tension can make it not boil when it should be. I guess that's true. Yeah. It doesn't it doesn't boil as long because if it boils too long then it's in the microwave. <laughs> so a, a, a kettle would still be a better fit. But it you know, it, it boils a little bit. Yeah, the boiling point. Yeah, it, it it doesn't boil long because around the time it starts to boil, it's like, okay, it needs to stop. I've discovered, at least for our microwave, um, that point for a normal, whatever, like eight ounces of water yeah. is uh, two minutes and 20 seconds. Two minutes and 20 seconds is the amount of time where it will boil and then the it'll it'll stop the heat before it starts to boil over. That's, that's, figured it out. Rara Oaks gifted a sub to Toast Grandchild. Thank you. Uh, Jesse, PHNM uh, Anorak gifted a sub to Name Rats. Lindsay86, resubscribed for 11 months. It says, almost a year, close. Next month. And three into bits from uh, Matted Satsy says, I got to have ice cream yesterday. I finally have an enzyme capsule option to process dairy and I am pumped. Toasty. That's nice. Yeah. That's very nice. I haven't had ice cream in forever. I think. We've had it. But we have had it. Yeah, we got some throughout quarantine. It just feels like forever. We've been eating cake. Yes. We've been eating cake. I don't know if we mentioned that, but Mao made, um... Cake. <laughs> the end. Ta-da! Um, Mao made, uh cupcakes for Roland on his birthday last Thursday and had some extra stuff left over and then made a, a very small cake. So we've actually been having cake every night. Coffee. And uh, that's been nice. That's been really nice. It's the last night of cake. It is the last night of cake. It's been, it's been a, it's been a, it's been a good, uh, good cake. Hi, Fossix. Morning. Uh, 450 bits from uh, Zeta Program 142 says, I prefer black tea, but sometimes I'll drink chamomile to help me be less anxious. Also, I don't use a kettle, just a small pot. I don't... I've had chamomile, but not often. Like We might have some. Like, twice. Uh, but again, I don't, think I've, I don't think I've really come across tea I didn't like. Asterisk. There's, there's a... There's a tea that I didn't actually care for. 
it was one that I bought. It came in a big, big, big uh, variety pack. It had like 24 different, it was loose tea. It's 24 different flavors or something, all these different teas. And there was one that was like, it was just really out there. It was a fruit, it was like a fruit tea. And I didn't like. He didn't like it. It was, it was, that one was kind of weird. But that's like the only one that I've ever tried and been like, I hate this. Does your chamomile evolve into a Del Caddy? <laughs> Listen, you'll have to, you'll have to use. <laughs> You'll have to use Pokemon references from Gen 1. That's the only way. It's <laughs> the only way I'll know. 500 bits for my now spell Karma. Who says, trust me, Grandpa. I've been searching LinkedIn for court jester. Nobody's hiring. Wouldn't that be a fun job? I mean, except for the, the, the part where, like, the king would, like, kill you, right? Like, that, that's... That's not great. But, but otherwise, just getting a chance to, like, dance around you do that that is my job court jester is my job fair fair I just you know when I think of like historical occupations <laughs> that's kind of a uh, that's kind of an interesting one well yeah yeah I've <laughs> Yeah, I don't think they kill court jesters now. I'm just saying, like, it's, it's, I also don't know how, um, how many court jesters there currently are in the world. I mean, somewhere probably, but, like, it's a, when I think of court jester, I definitely think of, a, like, a historical position. It's something from a, a while ago. A while ago. Okay, folks are telling me that that is a, an Emil reference. The Skitty Del Caddy. I get it. Okay. I couldn't tell you what those Pokemon look like. I assume they're. You don't know what Skitty looks like? Oh, Skitty, yes. But not Del Caddy. Purple. There's like a. <laughs> Good description. Longer hair here. Purple. Just purple. I know I can. I could draw a picture of a skitty. Okay. That'd be a fun stream sometime. <laughs> Steven drawing Pokemon from memory. Yeah. Do it. Yeah, I could do it. Do it. I could definitely do it. I have a. I got a tablet. Just get out and do it. I, mean, I can't do it right now. I know you can't do it right now. But that would be that. That could be that could be fun. I also I haven't drawn like the only time I draw is um. Be careful with do what you won't. Be careful with do what you won't. That's how you get. That's how you get the good burn. Um, uh, let's put it under what? What D. Yeah, I'll put it under D for drawing. Drawing. I have a huge list of just stream ideas. What? Oh it's God. a very big list. Most of it's games, obviously. Uh, Pokemon from memory. Okay. I wrote it down. It's not me doing it, but it is me writing it down. So it's, it's now in this master list of, like, games and stream ideas. There's a lot of, um, oh, I have a section called non-gaming. I probably should have put it there. <laughs> well, whatever. It's on the list. <laughs> it's all that matters. It's on the list. It's on the list. 15 months from Star Wars Kid 798. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, there's, um, there's a lot, there's a lot of cool ideas. On uh, your list? On the list. There's a lot of games, and I, I know that we haven't been exploring a lot of different games because 2020 ended up really being the year, at least half of it, ended up being the year of Zelda. We're continuing to do that now mm -hmm. because there is still... Still Zelda. There is still Zelda. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. And there's a lot of other ideas that I have. Um, my, my, current, uh, my current objective is to continue working through 
2018 stuff. Can we get the DDR tournament stream in the future? DD, mm, so D, the, the problem with DDR is that DDR literally exists of licensed music. Yeah. And it's, it's very, it's very hard to do a, a stream of licensed music. It's, and by very hard, I mean, should, I shouldn't do it. I shouldn't do it. Jeff would absolutely demolish you in DDR. Yeah. You're correct. Jeff is posting about like, he's like, yeah, I finally finished a 14 footer. And I'm like, <clears throat> <clears throat> for what it's worth, I finished, uh, I mean, I can beat bag, but it's bag. Bag's a 13 footer, but like bag is easier. It's Should very, it's very, number. well, it's just very slow. Yeah. It's just very slow. So. Yeah, we could do DDR with no music. Seems like it would be, um, seems like it'd be hard. Just sing it in your head. Anyway, yeah, I that I that's that's why um I've been showing just tiny little tiny little clips in the vlog. Uh, in the vlog, um like enough that people go, "Oh, look, he's playing DDR," but not enough for, you know, content ID to be like, "What's that? What do I hear something?" So I think it's okay, but as far as like, you know, playing the whole songs on stream is probably not something that I'll be doing, unfortunately. Which sucks, because you know what I really want to do? I haven't played Guitar Hero since high school, and I used to love Guitar Hero, and I'd love to play that. And, like, it's just... Oh, stretch. Some of the ideas... I'm like, I have to come up with a new idea. I have to come up with something else. Yeah, DDR won't take the channel down, but sandwiches will. We have evidence of this. Pastrami and YouTube don't go well together. <laughs> We have 27 months from uh, Missing No Leader. Thank you. I just got an email from Katz that was like, hey, could you review your experience? And I was like, yeah. It was great. I mean, good. I want it, I want it to be good. They had questions about like how the packaging was and if it was organized. Like, in the box. Yeah. I was like, yeah. Uh, 28 months from BC 2014 says, wishing you both a good morning. Thank you, BC. Morning to you as well. Or I guess, for you, afternoon. Carlos says, uh, TRG Kahlo idea, DDR, but the band plays the music. That'd be really hard. It would. Because, because of the timing. Because that'd be really hard. Like, the band would have to listen to the game to make sure that they were always exactly on beat. It seems really difficult. There could just be like step files made of like Carlos's music or... That's actually much easier. You can just make your own levels, so... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mod the game so it only outputs a click. I, yeah, 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 actually that would work. But yeah, you could just make, um, you could just make step files. I actually, back in the day, Back in the day, and I wonder if it's still out there somewhere. Probably not. Um, it's been too long. When I was in high school, I was playing DDR. Um, I had I had the home pads, and I hooked up the pads to my computer, because like, how would you hook up a computer to a television? That's impossible. You'll never be able to do that. But I would drag my my pad into the office and hook it up to the, whatever it was, the little 15 inch monitor, and I would play Step Mania. But uh, one of the things that you could do is you could make your own levels. So I actually made levels uh, to the town songs in Earthbound. So there's, and again, I'm sure it's long gone off the internet because it's been yeah. going on like 20 years ago or something. But like being able to like make your own songs and then play them on a pad was really neat. And it was like do 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 And then for like the heavy ones, I would just do it with my fingers, which meant they were impossible to play on your feet. 
they probably weren't very good. Because I made them when I was like, you know, 14 or something. So probably bad. But you know, if Carlos ever has an interest in that, you can make, you can make like an entire like album of step files so people can, can literally play your music. You'd probably do the same thing for like Guitar Hero too, but I guess it'd be kind of weird if you're playing the guitar but it's a saxophone. Like. <laughs> anyway, 300 bits from Mr. Viper Fang. It says, uh, plot twist, it was actually the mustard that got flagged. It is good mustard. It is. We still have some. It's pretty good. We also get this up from a uh, peculiar 90s kid. Welcome. Hope you're having a good day. This is very dramatic music for it all is. of this. Like, <laughs> just talking about like DDR, like. Da, 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 da. Oh man, I had a um, I had a thought about something with TRG Kahlo. Oh, um, kind of related to what Carlos was saying. I had the idea, it would be kind of fun if the musicians played music and then there was a segment that was like, uh, like improv songs. This is relevant because um, I do that sometimes. Um, the musicians could play music, there could be improv songs, and then, like, the donations for the charity would be about, like, um, specific subject matter or something like that. So that would be, that would be neat. Yeah, ho, yeah, well, yeah, it could be ho down specifically, or it could just be game music. It could just be, like, everyone plays music, and then, you know, you could do that. Whose line does it run away? <laughs> That's that's really good. I actually had um, not to spoil plans for what could be in a future TRG Callo, but I had um, I had ideas for a segment that was uh, basically whose line is it anyway? It's just really hard to pull off yeah. in in a meaningful way in which we want to do it because really you need to be collecting information for your segment prior to your segment, as opposed to like right then and there during your segment. Um, <laughs> Not impossible, but like something that I I I thought about. But yeah, doing uh, doing it that would be doing that would be fun. Irish drinking song TRG. I would be down to participate. Uh, I'm sure Tom would be down to participate. Tyler would love that. Tyler would adore that segment. Get a chance to show off his uh, freestyle rap skills. We got 19 months from Gold Mage 162 says, is 19 months at all significant in any way? I don't know. Side note, I I think 19 months is significant. TRG Sea Shanty. Sure. 2021 is the year of the Sea Shanty. <laughs> I mean, right now, like, the, the big question on everyone's mind um, is just... <laughs> does does TRG Collar get to be in person in 2021? That's the big question. And none of us know. And nobody knows, and nobody can find out. Um, we're just kind of waiting on bated breath to see how the next, like, two months go. So, that's probably information that you'll hear from me, but not from, like, MC. MC would probably dodge that question, which is probably how you should handle that question, but I'm like, now nah, I'll just tell you. Um, we'll see. I would certainly love to be back in person this year, but if we have to be, if we have to be apart, I mean, yeah. we, we made it work last year, we can do it again, but probably no sea shanties if, if, uh, probably no sea shanties if otherwise. <laughs> yeah. But we'll see. And he says, John and Reese won't be able to join in person at least. Yeah, although the, the, you know, the alternative, right, if we're all doing it from home anyway, means they wouldn't be there no matter what. So, like, even if the folks in the U.S. can get together, even if that can happen, John and Reese wouldn't be able to, to go. So, we'll see. We don't know. Yeah. Everything is too early. That's, that's what I keep telling myself. 
we'll learn a lot more in the in the coming months. But things are happening, and that's exciting. I'm I'm just I'm trying to stay positive. I'm trying to stay positive. Uh, let's wrap up. Okay. And tell folks what they need to know about the now. Okay. Pikmin. Pikmin. Pikmin's today. And then also... Coffee! Wheel of Fortune. Yes. Wheel of Fortune. From Extra Life. From Extra Life. And, uh, yeah, there's a vlog. Uh, Sunday's vlog is already scheduled for three. And if you didn't see, did we not run beans? Holy crap. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> we got real sidetracked today. Late beans. Very late beans. Almost forgot. Yeah, it, it, I think, uh, I think that's exactly why we didn't run it. It's, it's been a very chill stream. Yeah. Very chill. And we just never even, never thought about it. Usually, um, usually there's a part of chat where there's a, like a bunch of people that are like doing beans. And I was watching chat all morning and like that never happened. So I think everyone collectively just kind of... There was a few mentions of beans. There, was, there was like, wasn't Thomas isn't here to run beans. There wasn't enough in close proximity for my brain to trigger that. It's fine. Updates on mail or mal makes. Uh, I will have a video out Saturday. Mal's video will be out Saturday and it's awesome. I accidentally shot it in the vlog yesterday and I have to... Edit around it? I have to edit around it. <laughs> Please do. I, re I realized after. Chaz says, it's good. It's good. It's really good. Folks have also wanted Mal to paint this game for a long time. And, uh... It happened. It, it happened. It's one of my... It's one of my favorite pieces. I know everyone will be like, you always say that. I don't always say it. I don't always say it. Just like three or four times a year. Like a third. A third of your piece are my of pieces are my favorite piece. Uh, as for mail, uh, we'll be recording mail today, actually. Weren't we supposed to do that, like, Wednesday? No. Okay. I mean, we could do it Wednesday, but I'd rather just do it. I'd rather do it today. Uh, I don't know when mail will be out, but we're, we're, we'll be recording it, I think, today. Uh, disc only is next week. Next week. Yeah. Yeah, Dan's working on uh, fan favorites for 2020, so we'll we'll see. I don't know when that'll be out because it's that one's apparent. He he told me the other day how he was working on it. And he was a few he was just a few months into the footage and he's like, "There's so much stuff," and I was like, "Okay, okay." So uh, yeah, we'll probably be probably be doing mail today. There's also more of your dad's stuff coming. Yeah, yeah, that'll be um, that'll be this week. So if you're not already following the, I, I think you follow the Etsy store. If you're if you're truly like truly interested in in maybe picking up a piece of my dad's art, um, I would follow the store just so you're aware of when it goes up because I'm not entirely sure, but um, I believe that when it goes up, there may be pieces that sell before the vlog even gets out. It's just the way, it's kind of the nature of the beast, so. Yeah. Thank you, Fossix. It's stevepaintedthis.com. Um, so we'll be trying to add stuff up there within the next few days before the week's end. So, yeah, there's, there's, there's a few things there. Yeah. Mail, mail mix, my dad's art, extra life. Disc only is next week. Disc only is next week. Is there anything else? I guess not. I feel like I feel like there was something else, but now I don't remember what it was. Eh. It's probably fine. <laughs> That's enough for it. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, that no, 2018 was what I was going to say. I was going to say, if you haven't seen, I released a 2018 vlog yesterday. And it's actually, um, it shows some behind the scenes of... The Fallout finale. Of the Fallout finale. Mm -hmm. um, some clips that we didn't include in... The, f the the finale itself. Um, Josh is in it. Josh is in it. 
Not David Lynch is in it. Yep. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's 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 exciting. It's it's one that I think it, I think the biggest realization p- people have if they if they weren't aware of like the timeline of all of this is that I've been sitting on that foot. I sat on that footage for two and a half years. Yeah. Before it released. Yep. In the f- the fallout finale, yep. like we shot that. A lot of people didn't realize that we shot that in 2018 and it's like yeah yeah and it i think the worst part is that for me i've grown a lot in my understanding and appreciation of like cinematography so like there's a lot of things that i'm like i i wish we would have had the newer camera. I wish yeah. we would have done this or that. There's a lot of things that I wish we would have done, but like it's fine. Armored Frog gifted a sub to not David Lynch. Hey, not David Lynch had that day planned out. Came to meet us, took us everywhere. Had each stop perfect. Like, all right, we're gonna take the train on the red line or whatever to this stop, and then we'll be right here for this and this and that. And it was great. Yeah, um, we were able to go to so many places and film so many historical locations in Boston. Yeah, as because a, of all of that amazing planning. Like, if if you watched the Fallout finale back in August, or I guess since then, mm-hmm. and and you really liked the ending, you're like, oh my god, this is crazy. Like the only way that happened at all uh, was because of him, um, because we hit a lot. Yeah. It's not like these places are like right next to each other. Like we hit a lot, and it was it was all carefully planned um, by him. So yeah, shout out to uh, to Dan to not David Lynch for for taking care of all of that because like holy crap. Fossick says, wasn't yeah. it cold that day? It was freezing when we sh- the Fenway Park shot was the first one, and I remember we all were just like, oh my gosh. It got it's better. It's gonna that, be this way all day. That that actually, I remember that first one that we did. It was bitter cold, but it did get a little bit better after that. But we also started really early. Yeah. So it, the sun came out a little bit, I guess. When we did the MIT stuff, that was the very last stuff. And it was like in this U shape where the, the dome is. And it was actually really nice then. Yeah. The other thing that's weird is that like, and it's one of the reasons I wanted to show some of the footage that we didn't include in the mm-hmm. in the thing, is that like, we were in MIT. Yeah. In the building. And we didn't, like, there's no, f- I didn't include any footage of that. And you know why? Because there is no MIT. Like, you, you yeah. can't explore MIT in, in Fallout. Mm-hmm. Like, there's no, some of the, the clips that ended up getting cut is because I wanted to draw parallels between real world and, um, and game. And there was no way to do that with the MIT shot. I would, I would have loved to have had a shot of me, like, walking down a hallway. But there was no, there's no hallway in Fallout. Like, it's, it, MIT is destroyed in Fallout, so you can't... Yeah, it was... Anyway. It was fine. Anyway, 300 Bits from Shy, uh, who says, All this talk of DDR and Guitar Hero had me come up with the best, worst idea I've ever had. Most people know uh, Through the Fire and the Flames is one of the most infamously difficult Guitar Hero songs, so I wondered what the step map looks like. I know it must exist. And then it hit me, Guitar Hero and DDR at the same time. That seems really hard. Not impossible, but really, really hard. Yeah. Although, there's that game on GameCube that... The sing and dance one? Mm-hmm. Where you where you do DDR and you have a microphone, so like you've got a step chart and also singing. I think it's the only game that supports that. And it's wild. And we actually played through a little of it in Extra Life last year. So, um... Check that out if you haven't seen that. It, I think it was the very last segment of Extra Life 2019. Yeah. All right, we're going to wrap up here. Thank you all so much for uh, being here this morning. Um, I actually I have to go to the bathroom, so I'm not going to do a, a dome. I'm just going to end the stream flat out. Uh, thank you all. Have a good one. Check out the vlog, and we'll see you... Thursday. Thursday. Thursday at 9, and... Uh, Dome! There you go.